welcome back to my channel. My name is Coiffure M, and today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this beautiful, sleek blowout. So to achieve this look, I use the Brush X Blowout Brush, and I love this tool because it straightens, blow dries, and volumizes your hair all in one tool. This is in no way sponsored. I just love this product so much, and if you're looking for something that can do multiple things in one multiple services in one tool this is the one for you so I'm gonna link it down below so you guys can check it out and I've had this one for about a year I'll say and I've been loving every minute I've used it honestly like it takes me about eight minutes on a good day to use it and very convenient you can take it with you when you travel you can use it for a night out you can use it for an everyday look and i've grown to really love it and i'm just now realizing this is my first video uh hair related i've done a lot of makeup related videos recently but this is my first hair one which i'm really excited about so if you like to see how i achieve my sleek blowout look keep on watching so my hair is about um 75% dry, 80% dry about, so I'm gonna start adding in my products. And I will link everything I use down below so you guys can check them out as well. I am gonna go in with the Christophe Robin Creme de Jour uh, Bois de Sandal. It's a daily hair cream with sandalwood, and it's used for damaged or color treated hair. So, I tend to wear my hair up a lot. I like to keep it out of my face in like a bun or a ponytail, so I like to put this on my nape and on the ends of my hair. I kid you not, it has helped my baby hairs grow so well. And I wasn't even expecting it. My mom just gave it to me as a sample to try. So I would get your hands on some of this if you have breakage or dead hair, damaged hair, anything like that. Just, just get some. <laughs> Take about a dime sized amount put in my hand. <laughs> middle school humor though. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna rub it in like a lotion. I'm gonna flip my hair over first and get the, um, get my knee. And I just rub it in there. And I like doing this as well because when you're um, using a brush, or the brush X in this case, and blow drying the hair, I try to resist as much breakage as I possibly can. Because when you're tugging on the hair, naturally, it may fall out or be under stress. So, the next product I'm going to use is the Miracle Hair Treatment from Eleven, and I have been using this ever since I started beauty school. And honestly, when I start before I started beauty school, I was very not knowledgeable of products, which is understandable. I mean, I hadn't gone to beauty school yet, but. I didn't know there were more products out there besides heat protectant. And what this does, it is actually heat protect protectant. It nourishes your hair, it gives it shine. It is absolutely my one of my favorite products and I need to buy more because I am holding it upside down to get the rest of the product out. So I'm just gonna do another dime size in the palm of my hand and run it through the mid shaft and the ends. Next for volume, I'm going to be using the Briogeo Bio and Ginseng Volumizing Spray. And I'm so proud of myself I remembered that without having to read it. Briogeo <laughs> Blossom and Blossom Spray. And I'm just going to spray this on my roots and all over the rest of my hair. Alright, and lastly for my heat protectant, I'm going to be using the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. Advanced Thermal Protectant. And I'm just going to do that all over my head. I went all over my head. Now that all of my products are in, I am going to start sectioning my hair. And for the first subsection, I am going to start at the ends of my brows and just push my fingers out and just section it off that way. And the nice thing about the barrel on this is that it's pretty thick, so you can use bigger sections as you go the blow dry. And a rule of thumb when you're giving yourself a blow out is the subsection you take should be the size of the barrel. So this is about two inches. This is how I measure two inches. So that's like big enough for this subsection right here. So 
I'm going to start off with this subsection. And for the method of blow drying, I'm going to use the box method. And what the box method is, is you hit the hair when it's on, of course, on all sides with the heat, like this. You go on all four sides, like side, bottom, top, and then back side. And, and what this method does is it helps the blow dry go a lot quicker, but the key is to be slow with the brush. You don't want to run it too quickly because the heat is already high, so if you're doing it quickly, you're, that's just counterintuitive to what it is. So, just watch as I do it. other side and honestly you can go in any order you want with the subsections just as long as the sizes of the subsections are comparative to the size of the barrel. One thing I like to do at the end of a subsection is to just to go under it, roll it, and then I'll bring it down. I think that just helps it set and give you some extra volume at the roots. Okay, so now the back. It's kind of hard because you don't have eyes in the back of your head. You can, based on what I'm feeling, you could do one or two sections. So hard to feel. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna do the one and just box dry it like crazy. We are done blow drying the back section. Um, you are going to blow dry the bottom all together and incorporate it all together. All right, bottom section is done. Oh, all right, look how smooth that is. Next, we're going to do the second subsection. So here, I'm gonna take the hair out. And the second subsection is gonna be from the arches of the brow. So you're just gonna work your fingers up. Just gonna do the same exact thing. Take subsections the same length, same width as the barrel, about two inches, if you can see that. And same method of box drying on all four sides like this and I'm gonna do that for the rest of the sections
finished subsections, I like to incorporate it into the bottom just so it looks smoother. This takes me about seven and a half to eight minutes, but since I'm talking y'all through it, it's gonna take me a little bit longer. Especially with editing, it'll make it seem like, whoa, it went by so fast. All right, so for this top section, you're gonna split it into three subsections. And this is gonna be like the hair that's gonna fall over your face and stuff. It'll include the bangs or any face framing that you may have. But for now, we're just gonna start from the back and work our way forward. So. Then for this back section, you're just gonna do the same exact thing, except when you're going backwards, you're gonna over direct it forward for extra volume, so like this. subsection and it's going to be about at the apex of your head. So I know that it's not part of the last remainder of hair and it just keeps everything um, sectioned and such. All right. The same process goes, it's just going to be the same all the way forward, over direct forward for extra volume, especially for these pieces that are going to be falling down and framing the face. And if you ever encounter that when you're brushing through the hair, you hit like a point where the brush can't brush through, like it's a knot, stop, let go, and brush up. And keep doing that until you feel the brush can go all the way through the hair strand. Because you don't want to go past the point of pressure and have breakage in your hair. Then hairspray, and then we will be all done. flexible hairspray from Eleven and I'm just gonna do a very light mist all over my hair just so we can hold the style for the weekend and yeah this will last me all week and it's it's Friday when I'm filming this so <laughs> you're gonna be good so just do a light mist of hairspray all over This is your final look. Very voluminous, very smooth. 
And this is why I love this product so much, is that it smooths, volumizes, and defrizzes your hair all in this one tool. And I would honestly recommend buying one of these. Mind you, this video was not sponsored. I don't think I'm popular enough yet to be sponsored. So yeah, <laughs> just take my word for it. It gets the job done really quick. Mind you, this video only took so long because I was talking you guys through it. So in reality, on a good day, this takes me eight minutes to achieve this beautiful straight blowout. So I will link this down below so you can buy one for yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And click the notification button. That's one thing I forget. Click the notification button so you know when I post a new video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.